Hey guys, so today I thought I would sit down and do a baby haul. I haven't done one of these in a really long time. I used to do them a lot when River was first born. Um, but she's just about to grow out of her nine to 12 month clothing. She's 13 months old now. Um, and go into 12 to 18. She's kind of in that weird transition stage actually of like the more higher end clothes that she has like Pitti Bateau and brands like that tend to run quite small. So she's already in the 12 to 18 for those and is like fitting those quite snugly. Whereas the high street brands and more specifically Next, which is where I tend to buy most of my kind of baby clothes on the high street, um, actually run so big. Um, so she is kind of just fitting there um, nine to 12 months perfectly now. And so this is kind of for the next few months um, as she grows out of those, I made a kind of bulk order from Next and I also popped into Primark as well to stock up on a few essentials. So I thought I would do a video anyway and show you what I got. Um, I actually am really, really happy with all this stuff. I think it's a super cute kind of basics basis for her um, wardrobe for the next six months or so. Um, and it's all very neutral and I have to say a lot of it sadly was in the boys section or labeled as boys which I get really frustrated about because as an example the first thing I'm going to show you black and gray socks girls need black and gray socks too like I get it if they're like pink and girly but when it's just neutral stuff why does it have to be labeled as boys and girls I find it really bizarre and I actually buy more things for her um, in next for example from the boys stuff than the girls stuff um which is annoying because it means you have to look at boys and then go and look at girls instead of just looking at baby um anyway so starting off with a few bits from primark i got some socks I actually these are like seemingly so boring but actually very very cute they have um gray light gray dark gray and then black and they have little the little grippers on the bottom which she needs because she's kind of walking at the moment but a lot of the time doesn't wear shoes in the house um, they have the little grippers, but they're stars, which I think is really nice. A lot of the time with brands, they put their logo on the bottom, or with like Gap, they put Gap, and then the age, and then like I just find that really annoying. Whereas these are quite cute little stars, so I got those. They were two pounds, five pairs, and then I also got these little frilly socks. She hasn't had frilly socks in a while, actually, um, and these are kind of ingrained with a little bit of like a sparkle thread to them. So they have pink, gray, and like off-white kind of color, and they were £2.50 for three. Um, I actually got these ones in age six to 12 months. I think I, these ones are 12 to 18 because they looked a little, or 12 to 24 because they looked a little bit um, smaller. But these look massive. That's the one thing I have to say, socks. I feel like she's always one size down in socks, even though she has quite big feet for her age, because they just stay on better if they're a bit more snug. The other thing I got from Primark was this hat and mitten set. This was actually in the sale, um, which I inadvertently bought in the sale. I wasn't like specifically looking for it, because Primark sales a bit weird anyway. There's only like ever a small section, really. Um, and it was two pounds for the hat and mittens. Um, again, I ended up getting age six to 12, because it's absolutely massive. Like this would pretty much fit me if you stretched it enough. Um, it's really cute, plain black hat. I find it quite difficult to find like all black baby clothes, and I really like them. So when I find them, I tend to get them like I know Gap did a really nice vest with like a Peter Pan collar in all black and I bought that in both sizes, the size that she's at now and then the size she's going into because they are really hard to find. Um, but yeah, really cute again in the boys section. And then I also, the final thing I got from Primark, which was seven pounds, were these little jeans, which these are 12 to 18, but they'll fit her now, I think. They might need rolling up in terms of the length, but they're quite narrow. Um, I didn't ever really put her in jeans when she was tiny, but now she's crawling and starting to walk. I find that it's so much easier to put her in jeans because they don't ride up as much as leggings and they also don't get as dirty as leggings although this color will definitely probably show up the dirt but um they don't get as kind of like baggy at the knees and dirty at the knees when from her like crawling all over the floor um so yeah they have these really nice like sparkly ribbon um stripe down the side which i think she'll actually really like as well i feel like this is something that she'll sit there with her little finger going Ooh. um which that sounds really weird but if you know her like she does that all the time she has her index finger and it's always anything interesting she's like this and in the little you know like the food pouches if you ever give her one of those she sticks her finger in it and it's like ooh, and then like licks the stuff she's a very strange baby um but yeah she likes exploring um and she's very kind of like gentle with her hands it's very sweet um so those would be cute and then moving on to the stuff from next 
talking about basics again, I got her um, a pair of plain black tights. Again, hard to find, but these were three pounds for one pair. I haven't actually opened them up yet. Yeah, they do look big. Next, just their sizes are just crazy big, but I thought these were really nice. They're just the plain, they're not textured. Quite, again, I, hard to find and also hard to find them in a single pack without having like a pink pair and a blue pair in them as well so um i got those and then i also got this really pretty um gray it's like a gray marl turtleneck it's like ribbed jumper this i think will fit her now because it's very stretchy but i just thought this would be so useful for the colder weather that we have right now but also we're going skiing in a few weeks time and she's coming she's obviously not gonna be skiing but she will be in the cold weather so i thought this would be a good little addition um really cute and then i also got more basics in the form of long sleeve vests these are in a three pack i really like the quality of next vest i actually think they're probably even better quality than the M&S ones that I've bought. I think in terms of the ones, value for money and quality, I think they're really nice. I also have a couple of Pity Bato ones that she's in at the moment. She's getting to the stage where they're getting a bit tight, whereas these um, would be like loose on her now. So these would be like the next kind of set of vests that she has. Again, boys section, light gray, dark gray and white. I'm not sure why, why that is boys, but um, I thought they were super cute. And then another thing, Literally everything else I have to show you pretty much is from the boys section. So um, in case you're wondering why you can't find it on the next website if you're looking at girl stuff. Um, I got her these, which I'm so excited about because I've wanted to get her some dungarees for ages. But I really wanted black ones. Um, and I think these are super cute. They came with this t-shirt underneath, which is like a little striped grey and white t-shirt, which I, she definitely would wear. But I would also pair this with other stuff underneath it. Um, these are enormous. Like absolutely, they look like age three. Um, so these aren't gonna fit her for a while. <laughs> um, maybe if I roll up the legs, but I don't know. But I just thought they were very, very cute. They were quite expensive actually, they were 22 pounds, um, which I thought was quite a lot, but I think it's something that she'll wear a fair amount. I also got her another pair of jeans in the form of these, which I think are the cutest. I love this color. They're in a really lovely like teal and they're not quite jeans, they're more of like a twill trouser. Um, and I think these were nine pounds, 11 pounds. Yeah, 11 pounds. Um, so I got her those, thought they were a lovely color. And then the last main thing, I've got two things I'm gonna send back, which I'll show you as well. But then the main kind of purchase was this coat, which is to replace her um, spring um, summer coat from last year, which I actually had one of the yellow Pitti Bato uh, Parkers, which I bought with a gift voucher that I got given, and it was so nice. It was actually size three to six, but she wore it until about nine months, 10 months old. Um, now she's got a much thicker coat, um, but this is gonna be her kind of spring summer um, raincoat. So it's lined, but then it's like the rubber raincoat. Again, 12 to 18, but definitely comes up big i think this will probably fit her for um the majority of this year so um i thought it was really cute it's like navy with the white stripes it was 24 pounds it's got the cute little like white buttons um so that'll be her kind of day-to-day -day, um dog walking puddle jumping type coat for this year and then lastly two things that are going back i bought another hat and mitten set from next which actually this is so nice but i all i made this order before i found the primark one um and also then this arrives and i wouldn't normally mind keeping two because she wears a hat most days like at the moment because it's cold um however it's tiny like literally it fits her it's age one to two but it fits her like tight and she doesn't have a really big head for a baby like you know some babies have like, I've got a really big head some humans have bigger heads than others um she doesn't have a big head for her age I don't really understand why it's so small um and I'm not gonna get another one because I think the black one is fine and I have to say though the lining of this is so warm it does make me kind of want to keep it but this was so much more expensive this is nine pounds um obviously it wasn't in the sale but um yeah so that was one thing that I think I'm going to send back and then I'm also going to send these jeans back because again I found the Primark ones but these are like a light grey they're actually really soft and the main reason I, they're really soft on the inside too I was going to keep them but I didn't spot when I ordered them they have this um like embroidered flower detail they have the flowers on the inside too which I don't really mind because you you wouldn't see that when they're on but I really am not a fan of this kind of detail on kids clothes like I just don't really like it so and also I found the Primark ones so um and they're really similar kind of color and stuff so those are going to go back as well 
Um, and that is it for my baby haul. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I haven't done one in ages. Um, so I hope you are still kind of into this type of content. I don't know, maybe you won't be, but I thought I would upload it anyway um, and put it out there into the universe. I hope you're all having a fantastic day and I'll see you very soon. Bye.